How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to use the crop filter. Now you can also use this in OBS Studio, so depending on whichever one you stream with, you can use it on both. So essentially what you're going to want to do is log into the encoder that you're using. Go over to the scene that you want to work with and find the source that you want to manipulate. What you're going to be able to do is pretty much get rid of information on the screen that you don't want to be displayed. You can do this with games, you can do it with photos, web applications, websites, and stuff like that. Like You can really pretty much just get rid of all the stuff you don't want. This is very common for people to use it for the different windows that they want to show on programs, or if you're playing a really old game that has black bars, you can get rid of the black bars and stuff like that too by using the cropping filter. So there's a few ways you can actually do this. I kind of touch a little bit on this in my other video where I go over the transform tool. So if you right click and you go up to transform, I go over all of this because if you go to edit transform, you got the cropping stuff right here already. So you can already kind of get to it right there. Or if you want to go to filter, like I'm going to show you in this video by right clicking, go to filter, click on the plus. And then if you click the drop down, you got crop and pad, click done. It's the same exact stuff here. So if I was to want to get rid of stuff from the top, I can set it to 100. Now I just got rid of that information on the top. And you can actually see it in the preview over here too. So if you want to move this to a different screen, you can. But you can definitely see on the very top that I got rid of that. And then if I wanted to do something for the right, I can put 50. You know, I just got rid of some stuff on the right hand side. And now you got all this like black space, right? So you can make however size you want this and then you can always resize so like if you want to stretch something out and stuff like that to kind of cover certain areas you can do that too so you do have a little bit of play with this guy uh, so let me go ahead and reset it so if you do want to reset everything you can do two things you can go up to transform and go to reset transform and it will reset it or you can go to filter and just get rid of the filter now I am going to also reset this though because I did stretch it out. So reset transform will bring everything back to how it's supposed to be. Now the other option you can do if you don't want to go through the transform and go to edit transform or if you don't want to do filters, you could do your keyboard shortcut. So if you click on the source that you want to mess with like that, you're going to have these two arrows if you're going to these little white boxes. Hold down the alt key on your keyboard and just drag in the direction you want to go, let go, and then click somewhere to get rid of that guy to get off it. I don't know why it holds onto it, but it does. And then that is pretty much how you'll be able to just quickly mess with stuff. And then you can always resize, you know, move this wherever you need to. I did something very similar to this on my recent live stream. If you guys joined me for my creative stream, you probably saw something that looked like this. So this right here is my DSLR camera. And normally it would fill the entire screen, but I only wanted to show just the part for where I was building. So what I did was I would figure out like where it fits within the overlay. And I just did the alt on the keyboard and I dragged wherever I needed to get rid of the program. And that way it only showed this. So you could do this, like I said, with photos, you could do it with video, you could do it with web applications. There's definitely a lot of flexibility with it, uh, but it's a really cool tool. It's a really useful filter and everything, in my opinion. It's very simple to use, but I wanted to share it with you guys in case you wanted to try to use it for yourself. But if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys are new to the channel, you're wanting to learn more about the technical side of streaming, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content on the channel. I'm trying to upload as much as I can to help you guys out. So if you have any questions, reach out to me on Discord, Twitter, YouTube comments. And if you want to talk shop, join me over on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we can hang out there and talk streams. But hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.